Hey there everybody, it's Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery. Today we're gonna make our little Oscar the Grouch. At least it's gonna be my version of it. Um, so hopefully everybody will come on. I am gonna turn the light on, I forgot to do that. So I will be right back. I am still here waiting on people to come on. I came on about a minute early to be able to set this up. I forgot to turn the light on. So, hey, Beth Hurley, you're the first one for me to see. Hey, Miss Carol, it's good to see you. This way you'll be able to see a little bit better. Hey, Terry, it's good to see you. Got an itch. Hey, Miss Rose, it's good to see you. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, Cindy, it's good to see you. Hey, Miss B, how are you doing? Hey, Kristen, I got your package off today. I had to take yours to UPS, so I did it on the way home. Hey, Kimberlyn and Patty, it's so good to see you. And Diana, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming on here. Hey, Miss Pat Tyner, it's good to see y'all. Thank you for all the hearts. Hey, Alana, it's good to see you. Hey, Michelle, it's good to see you. How are y'all doing today? Did y'all have a good Wednesday? Hey, Miss Janice. Hey, Linda. Um, yesterday morning, I took all of the packages to the post office except for Kristen's, and I had to take that today because I did not get off until late last night. So, I just want to let everybody know everything is out um, that anyone purchased in the auction. Uh, hey, Miss Peggy. I just have one box left, and uh, that person hasn't paid. At least I haven't seen. Hey, Becky, how are you doing? And hey, Rebecca Clifton, it's good to see you. Hey, Miss Tony, it's funny, two Rebecca's in a row. Hey, Miss Elaine, happy hump day to you. Hey, Miss Janet, it's so good to see you. So, did y'all have a good day? Hey, Lisa, it's good to see you. I know it. It's so hot here. I've got my air conditioner on. I try to keep it up a little bit during the day because it's no sense in it working overload when I'm not even here. Hey there, Miss Pat from Vine and Silk Designs. Did I get it right? I'm not sure. Hey, Miss Linda. It's good to see you and Miss Ruth. How are y'all doing? Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Patty. I appreciate that. Hot and humid in Maryland. And Linda... Hey, Linda Fabian, it's good to see you. It's so hot in here. I hope I can function, but we're, we're going to deal with it. Your infusion for your cancer today. Numbers are lower, but not in remission yet. Well, I, I'm praying for you, Miss Janice. It's Francis. Lord, why did I think you were a pat? It's Francis from Vine and Silk Designs. Thank you for coming on. I'm sorry about that. And Miss Carol says we're having storms in South Carolina going to catch a replay. It's okay, Miss Carol. You be safe, okay? I appreciate you coming on for a second. Hey, Miss Regina. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you for the prayers. Yeah, Terry's giving her prayers, Miss Janice. Um, hey. Okay. So, I know y'all saw the white material, the white fuzzy material. And... I use that for the actual monster. So, um, and I dyed it green, okay? So, here it is. Here it is, dyed green. I did. Hey, Lindy. Hey, Miss Shirley. Hey, Carrie. It's good to see you. So, I've got a long piece of string right here. Hey, Miss Janet Gay. You're stuck in the house with pneumonia. Diane, well, I hope you feel better. I understand if you can't stay, if you feel sick, then I understand. Hey, Miss Kathy, you're welcome, Miss Janice. We hope you feel better. Hey, Robin, it's going to be epic. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, I know it's hot in Texas. Lord have mercy. <laughs> For sure, Texas is usually the hottest of us all, right? Hope you feel better soon, Miss Patty says. I hope she does too. Hey, Mickey, how are you doing? It's okay. My mom wanted to name me Patricia, <laughs> but my dad won with Francis. Well, that's okay. So, I'll call you Francis. I'm going to have to remember these names. There's so many. Hey, Lana, it's good to see you. 
So anyway, I went and I dyed this with some green paint. I had to put a couple of colors together that I had to make what I thought Oscar the Grouch was like. Hey, Miss Ellen, it's so good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Um, I went ahead and at first, y'all, I sewed the entire thing up and I'm like, okay, this is not good. Um, I've got to leave a hole so I can put my stuffing in there. You love Oscar the Grouch. It's what you call your brother-in-law. <laughs> Is he an Oscar the Grouch? Oh my goodness. I'm so glad y'all are doing good. So I had to unhook it, okay? I had to undo some of this. Hey, Miss Sharon. So um, I did, and I made me a little hole right here, okay? It's going to be at the bottom. And we're going to sew it up after I put all the stuffing in. I did kind of stuff it to as big as I wanted to. And then I pulled it out so y'all would see what I'm doing. But I did make it about, I don't know, about five inches wide here. I just cut a circle what I thought Oscar the Grouch head looked like. And so I sewed it by hand because my little machine still isn't working. And I guess Lisa hadn't looked at it either. Hey, Linda Tanner. And, um, so she hadn't had a chance to look at it and see if she can fix it. So it's one of those inexpensive little 60 or $70 ones. And, um, I kind of wish that I hadn't put it in the floor because I think I touched it and I messed it up. So anyway, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. I appreciate that. So what we're going to do first is try to make the face on here and then I want to stuff it. Because if I need to put a little extra glue than I can, it's probably going to be a little bit easier because it's flat to put all the pieces on. And before I came on, I came on about, well, came home about 20 minutes early. Hey, Miss Sandra, Miss Barbara, it's so good to see y'all. Thank you for coming on here. Um, I cut out a couple of tongues and I cut out like three sets of eyes because I want to get y'all's opinion as to which ones I should use. Um, and then I've got this piece of brown that y'all saw on the uh, picture earlier. Hey, Miss June. You know my husband's coming home supper time. It's okay, Miss June. I appreciate you for telling me. You can come back and watch the replay if you want to. And if you're new here, please let me know. I really appreciate you coming on and watching me. Hey, Miss Debbie. And you'll have to catch the replay, Miss Shirley. It's okay. You gotta fix dinner. I understand. Hey there, Miss Barbara from Georgia. So good to see you. So I kind of like scribbled on the back of it to what I thought his little eyebrows were because I think that they're brown. But I don't know, they could be black, but I only had brown in this kind of material. I just thought this looked like his bushy eyebrows. So this is what I'm using for that, okay? So, and I've got a piece of black felt for the mouth. And I have white for the eyes, and I have red for the tongue, okay? But we're going to go ahead, and let me make sure that this is the bottom. I don't have, I've got the rest of this piece of material here, so I can sew it up whenever we're finished. So I'm going to use that as the bottom, and we're just going to make this part as the front, or the back, I don't know. This one's lighter, and this one's darker, so I'm going to use the darker side. Hey, Miss Nancy. They may be brown. I think they're brown, y'all. When I looked back at some of the clips, it looks brown to me instead of black. Hey, Miss Rita. So I'm going to use the brown. But because that's all I have, unless we want to use more of the regular felt. And we could do that too. Prayer Warriors. What does that say, Miss Robin? Medically fragile granddaughter in your prayers. Well, we're sure praying for her. I'm so sorry. I hope she's doing well. Hey, Miss Candace, are you doing okay? Hey, Lori, it's so good to see you. And hey, Miss Peggy. All right, so this is the way I want it. I want the open end at the bottom so it will be stuffed in here. And I'll show you the garbage can in a minute. We're going to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, kind of make it dirtier looking. Hey, Miss Debbie. And um, I want to use the darker side. This is the light and this is the darker. So we're going to use that for our front. Bad storms there. Hey, Miss Kathy, it's good to see you. Everybody who needs prayers, I'm, I'm praying for you, okay? Um, I'm sorry about your granddaughter and everybody going through chemo and everything. I, I'm very sorry for that. And I will be saying a prayer for each and every one of you. 
Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Elaine. So I'm just going to lay this flat. I'm going to put this down just a little bit so y'all can see it a little better, hopefully. And I'm just going to see where I want my stuff. This does come up a little bit, so we're going to kind of do this around. Google says brown eyebrows. There you go, Miss June. Thank you. All right. So... goes like that. Okay. Let me cut this. It doesn't look right right there. Okay. I want to get it as pretty accurate as I can. Hey, thank you, Diane, for those stars. I appreciate that. All right. So, I've kind of got his mouth like this, okay? <laughs> so, it's going to be down here, and that's his face. Um, I'm going to put some of this little fuzzy stuff right on top of it, so I'm kind of going to bury it in there. Hey, Lori Ann, it's good to see you. So I'm going to be doing this upside down because I have to look at him to make sure he's not all crooked. <laughs> so, um, and I know this is going to be in just a little bit, so I'm going to kind of make sure that that's the way it ought to be. So I want my mouth about right in there. And then I've got three sets of eyes, y'all. I've got this smaller piece right here, which I don't think it ought to be this one supposed to go like this so it would be like this okay okay it's this size then I've got one that looks more rounded <laughs> like this and I don't think that's it either and then I finally think I got it right here <laughs> so this is what I think they ought to be what do you think because the head's pretty big it's about as big as my head <laughs> Are you making Oscar the Grouch? Yes, Miss Vicky. <laughs> Cookie Monster. No, not Miss, not Cookie Monster, but Oscar the Grouch. Because remember, I got the garbage can. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Lin Rhonda Harris. I got the garbage can from Goodwill, and I thought the first time I saw it, I saw Oscar the Grouch. So that's what I'm doing. At least what I think Oscar the Grouch ought to look like. Okay, so I think the third one, the last one's Miss Patty said. Thank you, Miss Patty. Why does that feel wet right there? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's what I think too. Okay, and then I've got a tongue and I've got a bigger tongue. And so I think the bigger tongue, but I'll let y'all see. This is the mouth and this is the tongue, okay? And then this is the other tongue. So do you think the bigger tongue... You need some big gooey eyes. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to be like that. I'm going to have to cut out another piece of black to put in the white. But we'll worry about that in a minute. It's just a circle. Hey, Miss Shirley. Bigger? Yeah, I think bigger too. All right. So this is kind of in the middle. Let's see how this is supposed to go. I think it's this way. All right, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. A big tongue. Okay. So, it's kind of going to be in the middle. And you know how it's kind of got that little black thing on the top? I did just put that on there. So, it's kind of just going to be like this. Okay? If y'all can envision. And I still think this is just too pointed. There we go. I made it a little bit better. So, this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Thank you, Diane. You're so sweet. You don't have to do that. I'm glad you're doing that, but you don't have to. I appreciate that. And so, it's going to be sort of in the middle. And we're going to use the hot glue to put this on. So, I'm just going to take this and put it on the back here. This should look really cute when it's done. I put a bunch of sacks in the garbage can. Ooh, let me dump myself. All right. So, I'm just pushing it down a little bit. I might need a little bit on the edge. Let's see. There we go. All right. So there's the way the mouth is going to be. Hey, Carol Covert Clemens. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on here. All right, so I've got my eyes right here. Y'all hurry and help Tanya complete her star party. You're so sweet, Miss Tony. Thank you for saying that. I didn't know there was a star party. Y'all are so sweet. 
All right, so I've got this backwards. I want this fuzzy part to be up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these eyes kind of on here. I'm just going to lay them because I just want to see how it's going to be. And then I'm just going to kind of cut it around. So we're just going to do it this way. Let me, I'm just going to take this and cut it out like this. And we'll just see how it looks. I just want to make them look really bushy. So I'm kind of just cutting it right there. Hey, Melissa, it's good to see you. But I'm doing it on the back because I can't really see the other way. So we're just going to do it this way. And I might cut it on the edge here. A little bit. Oh, I got it stuck. There we go. So let's see. I'm going to do the other side the same way, even though part of this is going to be cut off because I've got it way too much over to the side. So we'll just see how it does. I'm just going to cut some strips and we'll worry about it in a minute because I might need more. So I don't want to cut it all off yet. And then there's some in here. And this is going to have to be cut out a little bit because you don't want this to be right there. So let me just cut some strips. All right. And it's not as bushy as I really want it, but we'll, we'll do it this way. But it's got a little bit of an area right there. And I'm going to cut part of this off because it doesn't look right. So let's see what it's going to look like. All right, so that's a little better. And then I want this part right in here to be kind of like this a little bit. Because that's where his nose is kind of above his eyes and where his nose is, sort of. He doesn't really have a nose. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Elaine. You're so sweet. I appreciate those stars, y'all. All right, let me get this out of the way. I'm getting his eyebrows on his mouth. Thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. Whoever started that. I'm going to move the mouth over there. Y'all might have to remind me. I'm getting all this fuzzies all over everything. All right. So I got that out of the way. Let's see here. Thank you for those stars. I appreciate that. Hey, you, hey Don. Uh, Lord, Darlene. I'm sorry. All right. So... We're going to have our eyes on top of this, so it's not going to look as bad as it does by itself. Can you imagine if he just was all eyebrows? So, um, we're going to do it like this. And I do want this to be a little bit more circled right here. All right. And we're going to put it up at the top here. It's going to look a lot better once it's stuffed. And hey, Miss Virginia. All right, so his eyes are kind of like backwards. Okay, let me put it the right way. And I want it to, let me get them where I want them. And then we're gonna kind of go around them. I don't want these eyes to be under the eyebrow. So we're gonna just go where it is, where the eyebrow is. And then we're going to do this because I've got it way, way up from where it was. So, let's see. Poor thing needs a haircut. All right. So, it's kind of going to be like this. Like this. Okay. Can y'all envision it yet? All right, let me make sure this is a little bit up more. I just don't think that looks right. Because you want it to be right on that, but you don't want it to show the brown because technically it doesn't have any brown underneath. It's gonna be right in where the green is. So I'm gonna have to pull the green out, okay, a little bit and kind of go over it because you want it to be like it's inside of the green. You can see Oscar already. 
I hope so. We're getting there little by little. Now I'm going to have to make some eyes and this is a better quality sheet of felt. Um, it's the 79 cent felt and the white is not. It's that 33 cent. So I'm just going to kind of cut out a circle here. I'm not real good at this. Let's see. going to really look like him once I get the black dot in there. I think anyway. Let me see. Got to make it as round as I can. It's kind of oval a little bit. Hey Miss Wendy and hey Vicky. It looks great to you. Let's see here. It's really supposed to be more circular. Let me get it a little bit more round and you could use a sticker if you've got some round black stickers but here i am trying to cut a circle hey miss kathy bender let me see the more i cut it the worse it looks maybe i should have got a penny or something oh that's bad let's see what it looks like oh that's not too bad all right so here's the round circle and i'm just going to take it take this and go on top of this one and we'll do another one so they can be just alike. <laughs> I'm good at everything I do. I don't know about that. But I try. It's just fun to me. This is fun. Now let me cut part of that off so I don't have to have it the whole thing. He's going to be cute, Miss Rita. I hope so. He's, he's starting to get some character here. All right, one little something, something. All right, so here are the eyes right there, and this is where he goes, okay? So do y'all see him? Now we'll glue it all down, but it's going to look a little better once you get the mouth on, okay? So here it is, and once you get it all down with some glue, then it'll look a whole lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I want this to be sideways, so let's see. Let's, I'm going to go around the edge and then put a little bit in the middle as well. Woo, so careful. I want to burn myself. All right, let's see if I can do this. And I want it out right in there. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Make sure that the round edge is on the right and left. Hey, Miss Pat. All right, let me make sure. Okay. And I want to do the wrong one. And I'll be doing another one. All right, here we go again. Now we got to hold on, and then I'm going to put it right in here. And now it's on there, so let me make sure that I have it. I want to go up some and kind of make a point right here. See there? Like that. So it looks more like the middle of his face. And let me make sure I get all the little fuzzies off of this area because we don't want that to show. The same thing over here. No brown on the bottom. Thank you for painting the page. Hey, Miss Norma. All right. So I'm going to stick this here. I think I'm going to cut a few of these out. I'm going to make little, maybe I'm trying anyway, to cut part of it so it'll be seen a little bit better. Let me see, because I want it to look more like eyebrows. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of looks better, right? Look. To cut part of it out, I have to look at it on the back. But let's see what I can do. And we'll take pieces of it out. That way it'll show up a little bit better. 
Let's see what it looks like. That's pretty good. I'll do a few over here. Right in here. It's okay, Miss Paula. I haven't started very much. We're going to cut part of these off because I just want you to be able to see it a little bit better. Got to be strategic here. All right, let's see. That looks a little more bushy this way. Okay, does that look a little better? This one's really sticking out, isn't it? Let's see. I'll cut it just a little bit. That way they're more even. I think they look more even. All right, so let me get all the fuzzy off of his head up here, and then we're going to put the black on, and then we're going to try to dig into the green a little bit. What is his head? It's some fabric that's... Um, fuzzy. I don't, I don't know the name of it, but it looks like this. I'll put it really close, but it's white. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm just, I dyed it green so we would have our, have our grouch. All right, so this is better now. Make sure that this is the bottom now that I keep pulling it up. I got to make sure I got it right. Okay, so we want it up here, kind of close to the top, and we're going to put the black on, and the black eyes are right in here. Wait a minute. Let me cut this one little piece right there, because it doesn't look right. There we go. All right. This was it. Okay, they're more at the bottom, so let me glue this part on without burning myself. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing over here. I guess I should have just picked it up, right? We want it at the very bottom of the eye. Is that looking more like him? <laughs> He's perfect. Better car wash mitt. Oh, I know. I didn't even think of that. You're so right. But this is going to be better. <laughs> but but I could have done that. That's a good idea. Yeah, for y'all that don't want to go get this. This material was kind of expensive. But I got like a yard of it or something. And I was going to use it for snow snowmen or something. Toilet seat cover. <laughs> that was, Yeah. I didn't even think about that, Vicki. That's a good idea. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So, I think that he needs to be about right here. What do y'all think? Right in there, okay? And so, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. This is the middle. Let me move it this way so I can be straight. And you just want a little bit up above his head, above his eyes. He's going to be so cute. Thank you. So let me get this. I'm going to glue this to the back. I'm going to get a good generous amount here. And once it's on here, it's going to stick. But I think it's going to be just right like that. And then I'm just going to lean it up right here and do the rest of it. Just like that. And then I'm just going to hold it for a second. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Thank you for those hearts. Boy, that burnt. It hurts. Okay. So once I get it on there and I feel like it's stuck really good, thank you, Miss Pat. As usual, thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. All right. So this is what it looks like, okay, right now. <laughs> thank you, Miss Paula. Y'all are so sweet. So what I'm going to do, you see how this kind of is fuzzy? I'm going to put this underneath a little bit. Not so much on the top, but on the bottom. Take a brush, ruffle the top. Yeah, I could. I don't have... I, hmm. I had a brush in here. wonder what I did with it. Uh, I don't 
don't know. Hold on. Somewhere. I don't know where it's at. We'll fix it. I don't have a brush. Just came back in and wow, that is Oscar. It's getting there, isn't it, Lindy? I've only got the eyes on right now. But right, I wanna take this and pull this a little bit out from under there. And that way it's kind of going on his eyeball a little bit. It froze on your end. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's back, Miss Peggy. So let me make sure that I ruffle this up some right in here. I should have thought about, oh my goodness, that looks so cute. And then we'll do it a little bit in the middle here. But we want some of the brown to be sticking up. So look, see it looks a little better. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to pull it out some because we want it to be kind of over his eyeballs because he's supposed to be a little monster. So there it is. Okay, now we're going to put his little uh, mouth on and I moved him over here. Check that two half stick together. Check that two half stick together. I don't know what you mean. Say it a different way, Miss Lucille. Use a chippy brush. Hmm. I don't know. You talking about that ugly brush that I always complain about but love so much? Where's that? Here it is. Yeah, I could. Maybe that'll work. It's not big enough. I'm doing it with my hands. It looks a little better. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth. He looks great. Do better when it gets stuck. Oh, yeah. When it gets stuffed, I'll be able to do it a little bit better. You're right. You think he's perfect? Okay. So, here we go. We got his little mouth. Ready, ready, ready? <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So, you want a good bit of material right in the middle of his mouth. And so, we're going to glue this. But I want to pull some first. So, we can make sure that he's got a lot of fluff in between, okay, and some down here at the bottom, and then I'll put it, put it on there. So, I pulled it pretty good, so we're going to just go ahead and lift it up a little bit. When I went with uh, Elizabeth and Lindy to Goodwill last Friday, we were... We looked at this, and I, I immediately said that this was going to be Oscar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. A little bit more, maybe. Whoop, I got that side, I guess. All right. So, here he is. Let me hold it just a minute. Make sure it's good and sealed on there. And then we're going to pull some of the hair out from around it. And then we're going to stuff it. Hey, Diane Booth. It's good to see you. All right. Pull this up. Pull this out. My goodness, he looks cute. Hey, Miss Tina. It's good to see you. All right. So here he is. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and stuff him, and I do have the right amount that I want in here. This is part of a pillow that I had, and so I'm just going to stuff it. <laughs> He's so cute, y'all. You love him? Oh, my goodness. Come back here. All right. And if I need to glue it down a little bit more, we'll know after I get it stuffed. <laughs> this is too cute. Me and my stuff. Me and my little characters. Alright. Here's one more. Made sure something didn't fall off there. Alright. Look, give her that 
is, let's see. All right. So we're going to kind of bend this in a little bit and then we're going to sew the rest of this. I got to find my thing, my needle. Wait, let me find it. Okay. So let me do this and you get to see <laughs> your enthusiasm. I, I like it when it comes together the way it's supposed to, Miss Pat. Miss Pat Tyner, Pat number two. <laughs> it's just so much fun. But you won't be able to see this part because it's so fluffy. It does look like a cute little pillow, doesn't it? So I'm just going to just make a stitch in and out, in and out. Just make sure you get both sides. Thank you for the hearts. He's turning out great. Thank you. I'm not going to worry too much about what he looks like. Because you're not going to be able to see this. And this actually stained also. Make sure it's not in there. There we go. Okay. So I'm not doing it perfectly or anything. I'm just going to take these two. Put them together. You don't see it. We'll kind of squish him like a pillow. I'm not very good at sewing. It's not my forte. Like uh, Sherry on the Crafty Decorator is really good. All right, I think one more maybe. Let's see. Do I have a hole? I'm going to do one more, and then let me tighten a knot right here so it doesn't come undone, that's for sure. All right. Let me do one more. Do it under there again. And that's pretty good. So we're going to... Oh, my heavens, how cute. Hey, Nancy, it's good to see you. <laughs> So here he is, y'all. It's a little bit wide up at the top. You could take some paint and just kind of hit that a little bit. You could even put some paint on it to make it harder. My finger's doing good. Look, y'all. But it is kind of numb. Dr. Beerman said it would probably take a few months to get back to normal. Because I severed the nerves a little bit. Thank you, Miss Regina. Thank you, y'all. So here is this, all right? And the more we fluff him and make him cuter and all that good stuff, the more he looks like grouch. All right, so what I did for the hand, okay? <laughs> I took, this is funny. He's kind of got a couple of little, I tried to get all this out of here, okay, y'all? I made his hand, okay? <laughs> I took this, but I didn't want any of the fluff on the inside of it, okay? Because it was enough to have it like this. Because you want it just over the edge of the garbage can. And I'm going to show that to you. But I couldn't get it to come out, so his fingers are not as long as they should be. Because I guess I did it too tight. <laughs> what happened to your finger? I almost cut it off, Miss Peggy. <laughs> With the saw. <laughs> You could also use the same material. It's, yeah, Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's a good idea. <laughs> now you're giving me all kind of ideas. Thank you for those hearts. So I can't pull out anymore. So I just kind of pulled his fingers a little bit. So they looked a little more grouchy. Okay, so this is what his little hand looks like. And then I got a piece of paper and I just crumbled it up. This is more of a... Um, scrapbook paper, so it's a little thicker than regular paper, but I just wanted it to be a little bit heftier, so I was going to put this on there and put a sign that says go away on it, so I'm going to use a sharpie if I can find it right here, and we're just going to write go away, 
okay? Because this is the flat end, so I'm going to put that up at the top of the basket, and I'm going to show it to you in a minute because I want to grunge it up a little bit. It's okay, Miss um, Terry. You go right ahead. So we're just going to write, go away. And this doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of making it a little scruffy. Kind of like he wrote it. There we go. So just go away, even though it's backwards for you. Hey, Miss Catherine, it's good to see you. All right, so this is going to be our piece that we're going to have in front. Okay, this is the garbage can, okay? And I put a bunch of uh, garbage sacks in here. I call them garbage sacks because that's what I use them for. Thank you for the hearts. And um, so I used a bunch to fill this in because you don't want it to be empty. You want something for his head to sit on. So I'm just putting this in here. I may put a little bit of glue so it's just one big bunch of it right here instead of having them kind of stick out. I want a little bit to stick out because you want it to look kind of like a garbage can. That's where that's coming from. Got some water on it. At least I hope it's water. There's <laughs> no telling what it is. I use them for garbage sacks, for sure. So we can have a little bit of it sticking out, but the rest of it, I kind of want it in here. <laughs> I'm thinking it better not be anything bad. <laughs> I'm sticking my hand all over. Hey, Miss Denise. All right, so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this glue and just put in here. I'm probably melting it to death, but that's okay. We're just gonna Put these two on the top. I got like a black because most garbage cans have these black kind of uh, sacks. And then I've got a beige one also. So I'm just kind of doing it like that, okay? Because you're not going to see it because the... Hey, Miss Irene. It's good to see you. So as you see, I took the hammer to it. This is really silver-like. So I wanted to grunge it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is take one of these... And we're going to use some stain. And I'm just going to make it look dirty. You should hit the can in a couple of places with a hammer to make it look dented. That's what I did, Miss Patty. See it? There's a dent. Here's a dent. Here's a dent. And here's a dent. <laughs> I did. Thank you, Miss Paula, for those stars. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take two of them. I'm afraid I'm going to get all this all over me. Yeah, I did it already. <clears throat> I just didn't want to hit this with a hammer. So I kind of want it in between where the handles are. So it can be the front or the back. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to grunge it up a little bit. I just want it to look like it's been out in the dirt for a long time. And we're going to do it on the handle. And I'm just kind of making it look like mud a little bit. And we're just going to keep going. I just didn't want it to be silver, silver, you know? Maybe in some crumpled paper to the trash can. Yeah, I could do that too. I need to do that. That'll be good. Have some paper sticking out too. I kind of thought of putting a bottle in there might do that, you know, where somebody's thrown away a bottle. Maybe, okay, you already said that. Okay. Thank you for the hearts. Let me make sure that I don't have any. This looks a lot better with the grunge. Hey, Miss Deborah. So, let's see. Make it look really bad. Especially on one side or the other. Which side looks better? Let's see. Never going to get this stain off of me. 
Yes, or a can. Oh, yeah, or a can. That's a good idea. Either way, okay. So, this is one side. And this is the other side. Which one should I use? Does it matter? Newspaper. Oh, yeah, newspaper. I don't have any newspaper, do I? I don't know if I do. Hey, Miss Francis. All right. So, do y'all like it with the big blob right there? Or just plain? Yeah, I'm using antique wax. Just to make it dirty looking. I just didn't want it to be all silver. I wanted it to look dirty. The first side with the dirty. Okay, with that big blob. Alright, so I'm gonna... His head is really big compared to the garbage can. <laughs> the big blob. Let's see. His head's really big. Maybe I should have put it in a real big one. Or made a smaller one. I might make a small... <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so funny. Okay. I think I need to make something bigger in there. I mean, like it'll come up a little bit higher. Because he's sitting too far down. You want to see his mouth... <laughs> All right, and then we want the paper. You think he's perfect? He probably should have been a little smaller, but I'm laughing here too, Regina. <laughs> All right, so we're going to glue this right here, okay? Kind of crooked. Let me see if I can get a big bunch of glue. Woo, it's hot. Big bunch of hot, too. How cute. That would look so cute in a little boy's room. It would look cute in a boy's room. My kids are grown. Use a dowel rod? Yeah, I could. Yeah, because he needs to be up some a little bit. I'm still freezing. I'm sorry. Okay, so we want this on the inside, so I'm going to glue this right here, a good bit of glue, okay? And we're going to put it on the inside. Hold on. <laughs> I want one of his fingers to stick up, but not the bad finger now. You started freezing. I'm so sorry. I hope it's not. All right. It does maybe need a dowel in there. wonder if I've got a longer one. I've got skewers. I could poke that in there. wonder if that would work. It's not going to be big enough. If I put it back some, I can lean it against there. Okay. I need a dowel that's thicker. Then it'll probably do better. And if we put a, a bottle or a can or something, I'm trying to look, see if I have anything. <laughs> I've got a bottle, but it's awfully big. Let's see. <laughs> I got a big old bottle. That just is too big. Got a small one somewhere. What did I do with it? We could put this in there. You know, that might. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not freezing for you. Let's see. Wonder if I can make this go. Hold on. I got a little. How about a wine bottle? That is a wine bottle, isn't it? This is a humongous wine bottle, but it's too big. You need a beer bottle. Yes, a beer bottle. Let me see here. But 
don't know. Get in there, booger. Hey, Miss Gail. We're trying to do surgery on our on our Oscar. A water bottle. Yeah, that would be good. I've got a water bottle if I go in there and drink it real fast. Trying to get this up in here. Evidently, I left a hole. Maybe it knew I needed one. Oh, fish skeleton. Oh, that's cute. Y'all are coming up with good ideas. All right. Now, if I put some of this behind here, let me get some napkins. Hold on. Then it'll hold up. How's that? That's better, isn't it? If I do this, you can see his face. There we go. Oh my goodness, he's so funny. Put the head on the wine bottle. Oh, that's a good idea. But now I think he's okay with that. You said okay? Okay, good. I think he's cute now. Oh my goodness. I am going to stick some stuff out of it, though, besides this bag. Put the bags further back. We want to cover up the bottom of that a little bit. Let me look at him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Sheila Barker. Hey, Carol. You think it's better now? Oh, my goodness. Y'all need to try one of these. I should have put it in a big garbage can, and then his head would be just right. Or make a smaller one. He turned out cute, though. I wish he was a little more fluffy, but this was as fluffy as I got. <laughs> Michelle, you love him. Thank you. Put more bags behind him. I just don't have any in here. Let me look. We're just going to do this for the sake of doing it. For right now. You love him, Miss Rose? Thank you for the hearts, Miss Virginia. I appreciate that. Thank you, Linda, for those hearts. He turned out pretty cute. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Catherine. That's so sweet. He's perfect. I don't know. He's kind of big. Thank you for those hearts. And Diane, I hope you feel better. Empty soup can and paper in with him. You love him. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to put some things on the edge, I think, because it'll look a lot better. And the fish is really a good idea, but I don't have a fish skeleton. I guess I could make one out of paper. Thank you for throwing those hearts. I appreciate that. Thank you for those green hearts, Miss Pat Tyner. So stinking cute. Thank you so much. You love him. Just picked my, grand my daughter up, and I can't read part of it because it's on the paper. Thank you for that. I'll look back and, and uh, comment. What you think about tilting his head a little bit? Oh. <laughs> How about that? Wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Gail. It's good to see you. Little man would probably might like this. Very, very cute, Miss Tanya. Thank you, Miss Gail. You're so creative. I can see you doing a fish skeleton out of skewers. Yeah. Okay, Miss Lindy. So gonna try that. Gosh. <laughs> I love his little hand, though. He's supposed to have his finger up. Supposed to have it. There we go. It's a little bit up. It's supposed to be like this. Thank you, Miss Lorna. I appreciate that. Thank you for all the hearts, everybody. Pipe cleaners. Yeah, you can see that too. Thank you, Miss B. You're so sweet. Thank you, Miss Robin. 
I'm glad y'all like this. On Friday, I'm going to do, I did get that little thing in that I needed from, I know, girl, you know it. Every time you say something, <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking of more things. I just don't know. I can't help it. Flip the camera for the money shot. You mean like, oh, for the, oh, let me see. Like this? <laughs> Is that the way it's supposed to be? Let me see. Okay. Could have used ping pong balls for the eyes. I didn't even think about that. That's a good idea, Miss Lori. Thank you for the hearts. It's okay. Thank you, Miss Gail. I don't mind that you're late. You can always watch the replay. Attach a li I know. Do you know I looked online? I looked on um, Amazon, and they were like $20 to $30 for a garbage can with the lid just so I could have the lid. But I just, I don't want to spend that much on this. He's perfect. Thank you. I wish I had the lid. It would really have made it so much better. Thank you, Miss Peggy. Thank you, Michelle. Cookie Monster has a ping pong balls for his eyes. Exactly. I might do that. I might make a, a Cookie Monster. Ooh. Now you got me thinking. You have a big lid. But this is a small can on this. Do you have a can this size, Elizabeth? Linda says is. Use a pizza pan for a lid. I have one. Great, hold on. But how would he stay on there? Here, let me move it over here a little. Like that? You should do the whole Sesame Street characters. You could probably find a dish from at the Dollar Tree. Ping pong something. I have the cookie jars. No. Only I only had a big can. Use a big a pie pan. Oh yeah, pie pan. She has to make Sesame Street now. <laughs> USW a pop ribbit gun. Oh, use. Use a pop ribbit gun. Attach it to a long stick. Yeah. Do you think it'd be okay with this? Do you think that's... It's really big. I don't know if it's too big. You like the pizza pan? Like that? But it's, it's so much bigger than the garbage can. Does it matter? I mean, it's not extremely bigger. Hey, Judy. Pizza pan is too big. I think it's too big, too. If it was just the inside of it. But y'all don't really want me to cut this down, do you? I could... <laughs> if I have to cut this down, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scream at all of you. <laughs> it's too big. I've got um, this that I could cut in a circle. Let me, let me look. Let's see. This may be too little. And the other one is too big. Let's see. Let me cut part of this off. can buy disposable round ones. Now you tell me. <laughs> Use the can bottom for template. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see if I was good. Let's see. It's actually bigger. 
Hey, Judy. Sorry I'm late. I had to finish cleaning the kitchen. It's okay. Anytime you come on, it's good, Miss Judy. But this looks more like it, but you want it to be a little bigger than his head. But it's just not very hard. Maybe I could get some something harder, and then it'll make it hard and look like it. Looks good to you without it or with it. I don't know. I may try to get something and put on the back of this to make it hard, and then we'll put it behind there. But he's cute, though. Absolutely perfect. The lid would be, I can't read the rest of it, cardboard cut to make the lid, or you could do a cake. Ooh, I might have a cake decorator round. That's genius, Robin. Use the trim to make a handle. A handle? I guess I could just go around. Yeah, I know what you're saying, I think. He's cute as he is. He's adorable. You'll watch replay. That's Thank you for watching replay. Could you cut foam board and paint silver? Yes, that's a good idea too. Hmm. Or I could put this over foam, foam board and make it look... I can grunge it up some. Use a popcorn tin lid. Oh, and I have that lid. Oh, darn, yes. Look. That's the popcorn lid, y'all, to that big popcorn. Oh, my goodness. I think we found it, y'all. Look at there. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. After three tries. <laughs> For 50. <laughs> oh, this is a lot cuter. Look. Oh, my goodness. I'll put it to the side a little bit. And that way you can see. See there? Oh, how cute. Yes. I'll have to figure out a way to attach it somehow. I'll put something on the back of it to make it go in here like a dowel or whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Miss Diane, you feel better now. So this is perfect. Somebody just came up. Who said that? Genius. It is perfect. I wonder if that fits in there. Let me look. It's a little bit little bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. This works so much better. <laughs> Thank you. The head doesn't look big now. Put the handle on the back side. Oh, you mean yeah, I could. Hmm. I'll do that. Yeah, I could use part of this for that, couldn't I? For the handle. That's a good idea. Thank you so much. If you put it on the head, it will look like he's raising the lid. Well, it's supposed to look that way a little bit. Yeah, I could lean it. There. I've got it leaning, so it looks pretty good that way, I think. What do y'all think? Yes, on the head. But if I put it all the way on the head, like that, is that the way you want it? I guess it would fit. <laughs> oh, hey, Jean Cole. Thank you for coming on. You like it like that? It's kind of cute. Yeah, Vicki Schneider came up with it. Yes, it's genius, Vicki. So adorable. Thank you for giving me that idea because there it was sitting in the floor, not doing a darn thing. It's perfect leaning on the back. Or you like it on the top. I kind of like it both ways. I don't know. What do you think? On the top of the head or leaning on the back? The lid on the head. It is cute, though, isn't it? 
You could almost put it further in there and just have his little eyes sticking out. <laughs> Top, he's like he's popping out. Okay, we can leave it on there. He's so cute. He turned out pretty good for something I just thought up when we got this garbage can, but this is just so cute. You like it on the top? Okay, well, I'll keep it on the top. Just do you, Tanya, whatever you like. Either way is good for me. I don't, I don't mind either way. I'll take a picture of it with it on there, and I'll try to fix it better with some stuff coming out. If you can find garbage can, you would use the whole popcorn can. You could use, yeah. True that. You could. I could have done that just right there, um, using the whole popcorn thing. But remember, I used it. Grunge the lid. Yes, I'll grunge the lid, Miss Elaine. Thank you so much. Sleep on it for a bit. <laughs> I won't glue it to his head. I'm probably just going to leave it like that. Because if I send it out to somebody um, next auction, then I want to make sure that I can send it a lot easier. I don't want to glue everything together. So whoever ends up with it, if they want it, then um, I'll send it like that. It makes you happy, Rebecca. I'm so glad. Y'all are so sweet to come on. And I am going to do that... Um, sailboat um on friday i'm gonna do the best i can i'll probably have to put the camera back a little bit for you to be able to see um so we'll just see what it looks like i just want y'all i just need to paint it and i'll do the best i can so i hope y'all join me on 6 p.m on on friday and we will do this i really appreciate it vicky thank you for the suggestion of this and y'all have a good day, okay? I'll see y'all later. Bye.